Hello, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist. In this video, I will review the behind the ear hearing aids that are sold online on Amazon. This is a five part series where I review the five best online hearing aids you can buy for under $100. Now I have to warn you, some of these might not be such good hearing aids, but they are the five best hearing aids available on amazon.com. This video will focus on behind the ear hearing aids by a company called OneBridge. Stick around because in just a little bit, we're going to discuss the two pros and the five cons of these hearing aids. I went through the process of putting these on my ears and going to an audiology clinic to run these devices through professional test equipment. Our scientific method is a system called Real Ear Measures, which has calibrated speech signals coming from a speaker. And then I put this hearing aid in my ear and I record the output of the hearing aid based on the calibration. Now to do that, I need a certain hearing test. So I thought, how am I going to choose the right kind of hearing test for this project? Fortunately, there was a study completed in 2019 that had 154 adults ages 55 to 79 complete a hearing test and they had the hearing loss within the mild to moderate range. This is most likely the similar type of hearing loss that you have if you're considering these online hearing aids. So I used that scientific research and I used their average hearing test result to program the real ear measure system in the audiology clinic to see how these hearing aids would perform for the average person based on this research study in the real world. Right now I will put up an image of what the real ear measures test should look like when the hearing aid is programmed properly for your hearing loss. We use the initial settings program for this hearing aid from a major hearing aid brand that's commonly used in hearing loss clinics. And we put this hearing test that I showed you earlier in the system, straight out of the box from the computer, putting the hearing aid in my ear, the results of the real ear measures match the targets almost perfectly. All of those crosses that you see where the line goes through, that means for each of those pitch ranges, the hearing aid is performing well. Now let's get into the pros and cons of these hearing aids and see how well they do for the tests. The first pro of the OneBridge behind the ear hearing aids is the price. They're under $100 for a pair of hearing aids and that probably is what has your attention. So we can't argue that, that's definitely a pro, that if these give any benefit, it might be an okay value because the price is so low. Pro number two is that they are rechargeable. They have a rechargeable unit that you plug into through the bottom of the hearing aid so that you don't have to mess around with small hearing aid batteries. So that's another plus. Unfortunately, that's about the only two pros that I can tell you from my review of this product. Let's get into the five cons. Con number one is that the hearing aids are too loud and probably won't sound good in terms of sound quality. Now, how can I say this? when I don't have hearing loss, because we use the real ear measure system, I'll show you on the screen right now. We put the hearing aids through at the medium volume level, and then I ran through all four different programs that the hearing aid comes with. There was too much gain, there was too much sound in the mid frequencies, as you can see on the graph picture that I'm showing on the screen. Basically, that means that you're likely to think that those hearing aids are too loud and that they don't work that well. On this picture, you can see there is a wide range of volume, and the loudest setting of these hearing aids is getting very close to those white asterisk at the top. And that's dangerous loudness level where it could potentially cause you hearing loss. So from the scientific test point of view, these hearing aids are not going to give you the best hearing possible. It might give you some benefit because they're boosting sounds around you, but it's not how I would want you to be leaving my clinic or my service if you are working with us as an audiologist. The second con here is that these hearing aids whistle. They make a lot of loud noises and we call that feedback. So even when I put this in my ear and it feels like it should be in the right position, it's making noise because the seal in my ear is not calibrated for my ear specifically, and that you can run into some big problems with that. Con number three is the tubing length. You can see here that this tubing, it's actually too long for me. It just falls right off my ear. Typically, if you're working with a behind the ear hearing aid, you're going to see a clinic and in the clinic, you'll see your doctor who will size the tubing so that you can move your head up and down and it doesn't fall off your ear. This one is very loose on the edge of my ear and that is a problem that you can't size the tubing length yourself because there's actually a wire, there's a electrical wire inside it. So you definitely shouldn't go cutting that because the hearing aid won't work at all after that. 
Con number four is that there's no Bluetooth streaming. These devices do not connect to smartphones. And finally, con number five is the occlusion effect. When you have this hearing aid on and you put it in your ear, that rubber piece that goes in your ear, it occludes your ear. It's, it's acting as if you plug your ear up with your finger and that's called the occlusion effect. Depending on the type of hearing loss you have and how bad it is, you don't necessarily need to do that. And that means the sound quality would be much improved if you went with a different hearing aid model that did not completely occlude your ear. Well, that's the one bridge behind the ear hearing amplifier review. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Dr. Ben Thompson, founder of Treble Health. You can find us at treblehealth.com if you wanted some consultation from a doctor of audiology who could help find the right kind of product, the right kind of technology solution for hearing loss or tinnitus ringing in the ears. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure to check out the other four videos in this series of the best online hearing aids that I found for under $100. Thank you.